Um, I still had some things that were kind of going on in my outside life that were holding me back from fully committing to the church, you know, uh, really pouring into my dinner group, um, serving, uh, coming regularly, all those things um, were things that I was, um, I wasn't afraid to go into, but I, I just had my priorities um, kind of mixed up. I was in a relationship uh, when I first moved out here, and that was actually the, the reason I moved out here. I had these feelings that I was, uh, I wasn't pursuing God in this relationship. My faith was very comfortable, but I wasn't desiring growth. And I've heard a lot of people say this, and I think I agree that like if you're not moving towards God, you're moving away. Um, and so that kind of comfortableness ended up being a very stale faith. Last year in January, Chris was doing a conversation and he mentioned that um, one of the scariest things that we can ask God to do is ask for a change in our life. And so um, I just remember being so convicted of that because I knew in my heart that I needed some sort of thing to spur me to, uh, to grow deeper in my faith with God. I prayed during that service. I said, God, I don't know what it is. Like I need to change. Um, but like, whatever it is, just like bring it into my life. I started reading the Bible much more consistently, um, really taking like the faith on as my own. Eventually I even ended up joining the worship team because I knew I wanted to give back and that was something that I had done previously. And it's been such a good way to serve God too. Um, especially I feel like ever since I've been playing on Sundays, I feel uh, so called. God was just working in all these ways um, that, uh, I had like, they were just unbeknownst to me that like I was getting closer with my dinner group. I started spending more time in the word, more time in my prayer. Um, I was just having more uh, like faith-based conversations with people around me. I think my advice to someone who is moving out here and is unsure of, um, unsure of where they belong or, or what God's calling them to do, I think one of the things I would say is just don't hold back uh, with, you know, with anything. Don't hold back with your dinner group. Um, be vulnerable because those people are there to support you and encourage you. Don't hold back in your relationship with God. Spend as much time reading and praying as possible because that'll change your heart and that'll change uh, the actions that come out of you. Um, and I think, and don't hold back in your spare time. Don't, don't limit church to Sunday and Wednesday. Church is not just the building, it's the body. And we're all here and everyone is working together to grow our relationship with God and, and give God the glory.